Okay, good morning, sir. Can you hear me? Oh, that's good. So I can start. Great. So, uh, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Aijin. I'm from uh, Nanji. Uh, I'm a great economist, so I more like to uh, talk in some sense about uh, cost and benefits, try to say uh, experience about how China developed about, about the market system. Uh, I think it is uh, very important to share the experience with a uh, uh, experience about uh, us. So my topic is about the uh, uh, experience of uh, developing agricultural market system in, in China. So uh, I will try to discuss a little bit about the uh, development of China agriculture, and then I will to try to show the map of agriculture market uh, system. Now I'll show some figure. Then I will try to uh, say something is uh, what China has learned before. I, I will try to report about the future trend. Uh, anyway, I try to divide the development of China agricultural market in. Uh, three states. So the first stage is before 1979. Uh, the second stage is from 1979 and to 75. And then, the, then we go to the uh, third stage. Why we divide, divide into uh, three parts? Because before 1979, China, you know, we are uh, people are suffering. We are hungry. We don't have enough products. And uh, before that time, if you want to buy something, everybody needs to have a ticket because tickets is issued by the government, right? So the government uh, will give you tickets. So you have tickets, you have right to get something. So we are uh, lack of the products. So the government trying to uh, give intervention. So we start about the reform from 1979, uh, household responsible system. Uh, by that kind of reform, so the farmer has their own right to uh, use right to find in a, a, a farm, a make their own farm. Uh, because of that, so they produce more uh, for consumption. And uh, uh, produce more for consumption. But uh, so uh, I think uh, until 1984, our agricultural market became a total free market before it is government controlled. The government went to guarantee that everyone has the food to eat. Uh, but in 1984, we totally free market. Why? Because the farmers they are very motiva motivated, so they get enough to uh, to feed themselves. But at the same time, they find that produce more doesn't mean you get more income, right? So how can you improve your income? Become very important. So from this period, marketing become more and more important. Than production. Even in my university, we start uh, uh, majoring in marketing and graduates from 2000 because people find mar uh, marketing become more and more important for the farmer and the culture to make uh, a better income. And from 2005, we also big change and uh, uh, we are more focused about logistic distribution and internet uh, market. Uh, people find that if you want to make uh, good money, uh, money, you're not only about uh, marketing, but also think about how can you reduce about your cost. So uh, people are thinking about, okay, how can I through logistic management to reduce the, uh, the cost and through internet to reduce the transaction uh, cost. So uh, this is the three, uh, three stages of the development. Uh, of course, in order to understand about it, we still need to see the, uh, the market system, right? So this is a map of China uh, farmer uh, uh, yeah, uh, marketing uh, system, right? So um, let me try to make something. Okay. So from uh, uh, so so this is the farmer market, right? The top, sorry, the top. So this is. Uh, Generally, see and the farmer produce their products and they sell and the, uh, the farmer gate. Then normally they will go to the middleman. The middleman will come and uh, collect the uh, products. Of course, they also provide credit service uh, to the farm. And uh, then we also start the cooperative. Nowadays, cooperative play a very important role in the marketing. 
and from a from a middleman and cooperative, and generally say they go to the regional producers who sell the market. Because you know China has a big gap between the rural area and the city. So generally in the in the country, so they have uh, regional producers who sell the market. Their own products will be consolidated. Then they go to the city. Go to city, then go to regional sellers who sell the market. So from the city wholesaler, then finally go to the retailer. The final retailer will like uh, wet market, supermarket, uh, they know about it, right? Vegetable and fruit, uh, fruit shop and a street dealer. And of course, uh, some middlemen, they also they have a truck so they can go to the city. So the, uh, if they are certified, they can start business as a street dealer in the, in the city, the community. Right, the cooperative nowadays, many cities are give some funds for them to have direct selling shops in the city. So many vegetable and fruit shops are set by the cooperative themselves. And some pig farmers, they also have this kind of arrangement. So uh, and nowadays also internet become very, very popular. So many products are sold through the internet. And of course, China, you know, we are a big country, huge population, we also import a lot of products from the world. So the international market also a sort of products to our regional sellers who sell, generally it's located in the city. You go to the supermarket, you go to the vegetable and food shop, they go to the uh, they go to the city. Finally, there are two groups of the uh, final clients, custom, custom is like a hotel, canteen, restaurant. So for them, they like to buy the, the large uh, tank, right? And they also go to the individual consumer. So the consumer, uh, of course, they also buy from the e-market. So this is a, a map of uh, eight. Uh, anyway, let's see, so this is some, uh, uh, synomina pixel of our market. Uh, the first one is the producers who sell. So this one normally is in the, uh, in the countryside, it's in your country. So here you can see all oh, are the farmers truck, they come. Here they are consolidated, go to big truck. Then finally go to the sellers who sell it, generally located in a big city. So when they go to the sellers who sell markets, you can see it's already Grading, the packaging, they are more like this. So nowadays, the wholesaler in the city is more, uh, they provide more service, not just a place to consolidate product, but they also provide packaging, grading, delivery service, so they can provide door to door service. So the retailers will come and buy it. So the uh, what's the profit generated by, from the wholesaler? Not only about the uh, products itself, but also about the service. And then when we go to community, we have the wet market. The wet market, I think this is like Colombia, right? Almost the uh, same. It's a simple tent. It is, you can see the farmer there. Why we call it wet? Because the floor is all the wet, right? So it's a very popular, still very important for the community. And the last one is the supermarket. Supermarket is not developed very fast. It's been in the city and income is increasing. People like to go to the market because it is a high quality, it is clean and convenience, it is fancy. So the market became more and more dominant. Well, before 1999, uh, 2000, I think, not much popular. People more like to go to a uh, red market. So anyway, so this is the, it's the farmer, right? So in order to uh, make the money, the farmer or they also they make a lot of uh, efforts. So uh, you can see this farmer, they produce a very high quality product. You have to help them. Uh, China government also gave strong support for, for them. Because of, especially because of the reform that they have the land use rights. In China, farmer don't have their own private land but they have the right of the land use for 30 years. And you know that the government has extended it uh, because of this kind of moderation. So they produce uh, a lot. And also from 2006, the government said no agriculture tax for the 
farmers. So farmers are very happy, right? And from 2010, I think, the government also said that farmers can transfer their land use rights to others. That means you can rent the land from your neighbors to start a big farm. So now this is the farm a totally different from uh, before what we are thinking. Uh, like my, my, one of my students, he has 30 hectares of land. So now you are big farmers. Of course, many bigger, you can invest a lot, right? You can use agriculture drone, you can use a lot of technology, right? So a lot of big change. Uh, this is the quite uh, special. You can see, I see tall fee for first produce free. This is very important to reduce the logistical cost. You know, in China, the highway is not free, but the government said the fresh produce will be free. So by this can reduce the transaction cost. So transport cost so the farmer can uh, save their money, right? And uh, this is uh, quite typical. I mean, this lady also very smart, right? He do this kind of uh, uh, work. Why? Because he find that uh, it can focus on a certain group. So in the morning, many people like to buy vegetables from here. Why? Because it is fresh. So uh, what I mean that in order to get a better income, a price, you need to know what's the uh, consumer need, right? So and you know the, 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 in the countryside, uh, still have this kind of arrangement. So this lady harvests the uh, uh, vegetables early in the morning, then go to the uh, community corner, they sell it. So a certain group will come because they are thinking it's uh, uh, fresh. And for the wet market, of course, they also try to uh, do more service. Nowadays, because income is better, so people are very concerned about hygiene, food safety. So you can see nowadays the wet market, not like what we are thinking before, you are very high, you are very clean. You also do a lot of uh, service because people prefer convenience, right? So you can see that this lady is not only selling the uh, uh, vegetables, but also cleaning it, also grading it, or do some processor. By this, it can get a better price because the consumer wants it. China consumer generally say, no, income is better. So generally say, you are very concerned about convenience, quality, and like this kind of arrangement. And what's this? The vegetables, right? So actually this kind of service uh, was already available 20 years ago when I was a student, but not popular. Why? Because people like freshness. 20 years ago, people uh, have a slow lifestyle and a, a low income. So what people focus on is about the price. And, but nowadays it's quite popular because people have a fast lifestyle income is better, so but for them is convenience the food. So uh, you, uh, I think you have little news about the uh, fast delivery of food in China nowadays, because income is better, right? People are looking for something different. So half prepared vegetables nowadays in the supermarket is very popular. And uh, this was interesting, uh, why? Uh, in China, many people are arguing, it's better farmers said that if I reach a peak, I get very limited income. But uh, when a consumer said, why the price of the peak is so expensive? Why? Uh, because the retailer, the supermarket, they take more of the profit. Why? Because the supermarket, they know what the consumer needs. Nowadays, people are, have a fast lifestyle, so they more like to buy convenience. While the supermarkets, all the supermarkets, they have a, a big, air, big kitchen. You can see people, they are very busy. They try to touch the different part of the pork, beef, chicken. So when people come in, you just buy what you want. So in my project, we found that 70% of the profit of the supermarket is from the fresh produce. So actually fresh produce make a lot of money. The problem is that we don't know where the profit come from, right? So they are very smart. Ah, oh, what's this? So this is the uh, a typical phenomenon nowadays in the supermarket. Actually, you know, 
supermarket, wet market, grocery, they all sell vegetables. But at the beginning, like uh, nine, uh, like uh, 20 years ago, people don't like to go to supermarket. Why? Because supermarket vegetables is packaged. People here, Chinese people don't like, uh, not much interested about the salad, right? So people are more prefer to buy fresh. How can we make fresh? They go to the street dealer, they go to the wet market. Because the wet market is there, it's more fre uh, frequently compared with the supermarket. So, so what supermarket could do? So supermarket they provide this kind of service. Because nowadays, what's the people in the city concerned is about freshness, not just about the price, right? So the supermarkets, they, they provide this kind of service. So meets needs or consumer needs, fresh needs of the vegetables and fruit. E-market. Yeah, China are benefits from the internet. Yeah, we are very lucky. We are huge population. We suffer a lot, but because of huge population, we are benefits from the e-market internet. Yeah, because we have an economy skill, right? Uh, the delivery shops in China is very cheap compared with uh, other countries, right? So you can see the old gentleman can do business in front of the computer in the countryside because nowadays the delivery, the highway transport uh, develop very fast. So the transaction cost, the transport fee is lower. So this gentleman can do business there. So in China, we have, I think everybody know about uh, Alibaba, right? A big company online, I think, uh, no, he is quite uh, uh, Jackie Ma is very popular in many in the Chinese society, right? So uh, I think he is uh, internet is very good. Internet first is uh, is that it provides information, right? So before there's a gap between the pr producer and the buyer, but because of the, because of internet, it reduces the gap. The second way, the internet. Like uh, I think Alibaba, they are very smart because they solve the problem of the payment, right? So uh, by this, people can pay uh, uh, online and also create uh, trust. Uh, Alibaba nowadays more popular because they also uh, provide logistic service in uh, for the people in China, like uh, Tenyo, Wu, Tenyo, Wu, a lot of delivery service. They are developed very, very fast to try to reduce the logistic cost. So because it's developed so fast and it's a lot of skill, so in some province, uh, the, uh, the product from internet, even no cost for the delivery service because the price already included about it because of the last skill. So that's something we are benefiting from uh, uh, this. So there are many villages. If they have something special, they can use internet to sell the product. The second picture you can see people are selling what? Seafood, cram, fresh water uh, products. It's all interesting, right? So when you say, okay, can we do that by internet? So it depends on two sides. One is that someone uh, like to buy, someone like to affordable, right? And another one is that cost. How can we maintain the cost? Because we need a cost chain. But in China, now that we have solved the problem because income is better. So young generation, they, what they looking for is convenience, high quality, they are less concerned about uh, price. So this kind of product nowadays is quite a normal online service. Of course, you also need a lot of innovation later on, I will explain. And so nowadays in China, you can also see even the internet, we also uh, have a lot of change. Nowadays, the dominant one is GD and GMO. Why? Because they provide reputation, they provide the guarantee for your product quality. And uh, the last picture is the WeChat shop. Chinese people, everyone use WeChat, I think. So WeChat is based on the telephone number, so create uh, trust. So by WeChat shop, it also create uh, trust. So people allowed to buy product from a WeChat uh, shops. And uh, for the business, if you want to make money, you also need to think about how can you, you, know, you need to do a lot of, uh, uh, for example, in uh, my region, the fresh water crime is very expensive. People are thinking it's a luxury one. 
uh, product. So when you, you want someone to come dinner, you like to have wait. So uh, of course, we also like to use internet, the fast delivery service to serve consumer. How can we do that? Generally say, you have free, because it's fresh, so the self life is limited. So in order to have a longer self life, we need to do some treatment. Like uh, you can say, first we bond it, then we put it in a form box, right? Then we also use straw to maintain the uh, humidity, right? Then of course, finally we package it and go to the delivery uh, service. So generally say, uh, before it can only two or three days save life, but this kind of arrangement, it uh, can last for one week. So generally say, you can receive it uh, yeah, within, uh, within the country two days, I think is enough. But so this kind of service grandly improve the service of it and satisfy the consumer need. And uh, the payment quite interesting, right? Nowadays in China, I think most almost all China, no cash anymore. People all use Alipay or WeChat Pay. So that means if you are a street dealer, you also need to have this kind of service. You need to have a code so the people come and use the mobile for scan it, then they buy it. So if you are uh, you, if you are a, a marketer, you can think about, okay, how can we meet the needs of the consumer? Maybe we also need to have this kind of arrangement. Okay, next one, China market. So what kinds of consumer think about? I think China, uh, everybody is thinking that China nowadays are better. People's life, life are better than before, right? Uh, especially in big cities, that's true. When you have a better income, of course, you are looking for something better quality, food safety, right? So in 2008, China, I did a lot of news about China food safety issues, right? So uh, from that, people are trying to have uh, labeling, how traceability, how queue system, why? Because uh, the consumer need it. And uh, in my research at the beginning, it's more focused about the policy. So government try to uh, provide lots of uh, policy to maintain the quality of the product. And uh, the retailers try to use the key system to show that they are qualified. So nowadays, the research more go to the trust. Trust, how can you convince me that your product is better, high quality, so nowadays you can see the egg, all the egg have a serious behind the code. Why? This is traceability, right? Because government have this, because the consumer have this kind of requirement. So if you want to sell a product in the market, and you think about, you need a labeling, you need a, a traceability system, you need a query system, or maybe you need a certain certification, right? I uh, learned uh, about the Colombia, right? When we, uh, because we are small farmers, we, when we give a loan to the farmers, we cannot give a loan to the farmer because the farmer have no mortgage. What we do, we, we give the loan to a group. China also say, we are not certify uh, one farmer, but we certify a group of farmers. We also have our own grading. So we have hard fruit, uh, hard uh, free products. We have green products. We have organic products. We also have geography indicators products. Yeah, in Europe, people are say buy local, eat local. In China, maybe we are not like this because generally most products are produced in different area. But from my view, we can say eat orange, buy orange. So people are very concerned about orange for product. Just like coffee is from Colombia. Of course, China consumer. When they consume coffee different from uh, Colombia. Uh, Times consumers generally say don't drink coffee in home, right? Because they don't have a coffee machine. But Times consumer like to go to a coffee shop to see how people grind in the coffee beans and finally have the coffee, the bitter coffee, right? So for family consumption or for normal people just like to have instant coffee. So this is a big difference with the Colombia. So coffee powder, sometimes not popular for individual consumer, right? So when you're selling your product, you think about what consumer need. Okay, so 
some figures. So in China, we have a lot of wholesaler, a lot of companies. And uh, here, I just like to see, show you that these guys play a very important role in the market, right? And the farm to change stock is uh, 50 in 2004. This means the contract farming is very important uh, in the market, right? And uh, cooperative noise dominant in our uh, market. And the e-market in the future will be very uh, emerging. Uh, according to the government policy that in 2020, uh, 2025, 50% of the transaction of the agricultural product will be online. So it is quite uh, uh, important, right? And uh, this is a picture about how can we sell in the egg. So anyway, this is only for the big cities, right? What consumer looking for? Animal welfare, food quality, quality assured, nice environment, sustainable. Uh, so, so that means if you want to go to the big city, you can think about how can you make your product like this, right? So people love this kind of uh, image. And uh, uh, this figure also tells us it's very important for the quality control. You can see just in 2014 that the control uh, is already very uh, strong, right? Test ratio, test center. They also start waste process. Now that China also can very concerned about the waste uh, management, right? The consumer are very concerned about that because we are promoting about this kind of uh, campaign. And uh, they also have the e-transaction e center. That means if you are a wholesaler, you must have e-transaction center because your clients will want it. And of course, you need to have code warehouse, code tracks. Why? Because the consumer want it. Well, experience, I need to summarize fast, right? So anyway, in China, I think um, development is more and more market oriented. The market decides everything. So then we do everything to think about what the consumer need, who are our consumer, and what they are looking for. So when you have a low income, of course, you are focused about price. When you have a high income, you are thinking about quality. When you have a hard, more high income, maybe you are thinking about some packaging, a gift, a labeling, imported from somewhere. So sometimes if you, you need to have a niche market, segment your own market. Food safety control is very important because consumers pay more attention to them. I think all the world are the same, right? Especially you have a better income. E-market in the future because reduce the transaction cost. China is promoting internet plus strategies. Good marketing system could reduce cost and, and value. That's why nowadays many countries, we start the value chain, right? We start supply chain. We try to see how can we market our products. And uh, for the wholesaler, this is special, right? Of course, you think about the location selection, right? To see where you can meet the needs of your consumer, right? Target population, right? For example, in China, it's huge, generally, in Shanghai, Guangzhou, Beijing, people income is better. So they are looking for something high quality, right? Imported, while in our region, maybe less. So you think about where your product is going to be, right? And the globalization will become, uh, will be more and more dominant. China, you can see we have import a lot. We have, uh, we have import a lot of products. So, uh, it's an open market. Now this market become more and more important because you think about how can you reduce your logistic cost? Just like uh, in Netherlands, the Netherlands are famous for the tulip, right? The tulip has a very good logistic system. I think everyone can take a rent. So if you have something good, you want to sell to someone, but again, think about how can you reduce about your cost, right? So, um, in the future, I think, uh, in China, I think uh, we will, uh, because income is better generally, uh, people will uh, need more something new. We are looking for something special to, special, so globalize is more and more important for the trade of the agricultural market, right? And in the future, people, I mean, more efforts will be focused on the, 
how can we have a good supply chain, have a value chain, and we, how can we manage of our companies, how can we reduce the cost? And especially when you have a multinational company, you need to think about how can you manage about, think about what the consumer needs. Chinese breakfast are different from Colombia breakfast. So when you think about what Chinese consumers are, we have in the morning, coffee or tea? When consumers have coffee, right? The next one is uh, the logistics. So will be really more and more important, uh, especially people are looking for something premier quality. And you think about how can you, uh, you, you maintain quality, you need to have a, a cold chain, something uh, like that. And in the future, e-business will be uh, popular online or offline in China. Uh, well, my, my study, seven years ago, we are doing something from, uh, from uh, offline to online. Nowadays, we're from uh, online to offline. Why? Because this kind of arrangement will make more profit, will create trust. Okay, sorry for the, uh, I just uh, uh, didn't mind time very well, but anyway, I like to share my experience of my research with you. If you are interested, you can go to the research kit. I have uh, already put some papers here. If you're interested, you can email me and we can uh, discuss it. And I also put your university website here. So anyway, uh, you are welcome to read my university. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Hola. Yeah. Bueno, muchas gracias. Eh, hay unas preguntas que quisiera dirigirle. Eh, vari hay varias, a ver. Una tiene que ver con si eh, los productores en China pueden exportar directamente, hay algún mecanismo que les permita exportar directamente eh, sus productos. Esa es la primera. Si quieres, Sherry, le, les leemos todas las preguntas que hay para que las anoten y las respondan en una sola intervención. Entonces, esa es la primera. La segunda, eh, hay ferias en China, eh, en las que se compartan estas experiencias eh, eh, similares a las ferias de Impo y Expo, eh, que estén enfocadas eh, a, los, a, a, a compartir experiencias eh, sobre las diferentes estrategias de mercado que nos ha, nos ha explicado el profesor. Eh, otra pregunta es, eh, ¿cómo trabaja China eh, la seguridad alimentaria. Eh, ¿Cuál es la política en relación con mercado justo? Eh, y en relación con los hábitos de consumo y variabilidad de la demanda que se ha venido presentando a nivel mundial, ¿cuáles son las líneas de productos tropicales más demandadas en China en este momento? Esas serían las preguntas. Hay otra que tiene que ver con la relación entre el, entre el Estado y el libre mercado. Eh, que si el profesor pues puede, eh, algo de eso se refirió, pero pues si, alcanza, si alcanzáramos a responder esas preguntas sería eh, magnífico porque son las que han hecho los asistentes.第二个呢就是他说有没有一些农业农产品的一些展销会呃费呀就他的意思可能就是说有没有这种可以让一般的人去参观这个就可以学习到你刚才因为介绍的都是那个电子销售就是网购啊什么的是吧网上销售农产品
la primera pregunta es si hay me mecanismos para que el productor pueda hacer exportación directa de los productos. Ah, Yo 我的理解就是把那些农产品就集中在一起了然后开一个展销会来推销他们的产品第三个问题呢就是怎么样可以保证这个食品是安全的然后怎么样可以保证那个价钱是公平的就不会有一个价钱的竞争价格上面的竞争